Rockstar Llewellyn. This is something I've been struggling with since I was a teenager, uh, smoking. I thought it was, for some reason, you know, you're young, you think it's cool, and I started doing it, and I've never wanted to admit this, and my uh, executive producer said, do you want to talk about this on the show? And it was a pretty scary thing to, to share with everybody, but uh, I'm really glad I did. So uh, this is a life-changing uh, session I had with Paul McKenna. Take a look. Your brain's like a computer, and what we're going to do today is reprogram it so that smoking doesn't mean the same thing to you again. So I'm going to ask you to think through times that you wanted to quit. I need you to think of four times. Maybe a relative died, you had chest pain, you were told by your doctor you've got to quit, and you just thought, damn, I just got to quit. Yeah? Can you think of four of those? We'll just do one at a time. Have you got one of those times? Mm -hmm. um chest pain chest pain so chest pain That's is one the code yeah okay <laughs> number two is what um mother mother mm -hmm. number three is poison poison okay and number four i think there's two different incidents that I had serious chest pains so you got chest pain yes, second this, chest pain yeah. so if you could just close your eyes and remember the first chest pain incident start to overlap that with mother then overlap it into poison then overlap it into chest pain overlap that chest pain into the first chest pain and just keep going through all of these memories seeing what you saw hearing what you heard and feeling how bad you felt in all of these that's it make the colors rich and bright and bold in these memories the sounds loud and the feeling strong that's it good there you go and when you are feeling utterly overwhelmed with this awful negative feeling give me a yes Right, now try to imagine having a cigarette in the evening. Try to imagine having a cigarette in a social situation. Try to imagine having a cigarette under any circumstances whatsoever. Just run through that now. Okay, and then when you're ready, just open your eyes, come on. Right. I'm sorry about that. It's um, quite a powerful experience you went through. I'm sorry I had, that you had to feel so bad. Is there a food or a, a beverage you really hate the taste of? I don't like black licorice. Anything hot and spicy on licorice. On licorice. Great. Right. Okay, let me just stand up for a minute so I'm going to mm -hmm. create an associational link. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine I've got a big bar of licorice here. Yeah? And I've put some, uh, some chili on it. So you've got chili flavored licorice and you have to take a bite of it. Take a bite of it and chew it. Oh, it's disgusting. There you go. Chew on it, chew on it, chew on it. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? And we've taken some hair from a barbershop floor and some spittoon. And we've mixed it all up together. It's disgusting. Now, imagine trying to take a drag from a cigarette. And mixed in with it is hairy spittoon chili licorice. That's it. You've got all of those tastes combined. That's it. Oh, that's disgusting. Let's stop. Okay, now when you're... Sorry about that. Um, that's the last time um, we're going to do anything uncomfortable. I actually don't mind hairy spittoon, but... Uh, okay. So we're going to do some hypnosis. This is going to be like a sort of guided meditation, like a daydream. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to relax. Thank you. And as you do, count backwards in your mind now from 300, 299, 298, 297. You're a non-smoker. You've quit smoking. Whenever anyone offers you a cigarette in future, you'll say, no thanks, I don't smoke. That's right. And I'm gonna reach over and pick up your right hand and place it there. That's it. And as I let it go, I don't want you to put it down any faster than you integrate all the changes that I've asked your unconscious mind to do so. And as you remember now every really good experience in your life intensely, see what you saw and hear what you heard and feel how good you felt, build up inside you a massive positive feeling. Really build them up inside you and know that you can have these going on as a neurochemical event. Maybe not this strong, but there is background happiness more and more often. So not only will you have become a 
ex-smoker when you open your eyes in just a moment, but you will have created a massive feeling of positive optimism in your future. So as I count back from 10 to 1, you'll awaken refreshed, relaxed and alert. 10, 9, 8, beginning to return now, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, do you feel like a cigarette? No, I do not. All right, so, I'm telling you, I feel, I feel so, so good. I mean, I, it's been three days, and there's, you know, those are the hardest. The first, you know, there are certain times that you're used to, if you're a smoker, there are certain things that you just, you know, associated with smoking. I feel so good. I feel healthier. It seems ridiculous, but my skin looks better. Like, I just feel like you can just feel, I feel healthier. I feel really good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, when we come back, we'll see what happened with Amber and our lady who has a fear of snakes. We'll be right back.